All right, so over the last couple of days I've been working on this. I've been getting the brackets done for the uh, frame and the axles. So these two, these two right here with this set will go for the upper links. And then these two and these two will be for the bottom links. I had to build this onto a piece of angle iron so I'd have more surface area to weld to to the bottom of the axle. The axle's not a square tube, it's just like a U-channel. So today I want to get them welded to the frame. I got to get the frame cleaned up, get all that powder coat off there. I also have to verify these links are all the same length, so that way when I put it all together, I can use them to make sure that the axle is square to its mounts. I did end up buying heim joints for these, which will be here this week. So I will be modifying these and getting rid of them crappy plastic bushings that are in there. Probably would have been better if I just started off with some DOM tubing and built my own to begin with, but you know, working with what I got. So, so I think I'm gonna get the grinder out and start grinding off the powder coat on that one. And then I wanna set the angles. I cut the two brackets to go on there to be a 40 degree angle to the axle. So I'm gonna tack weld one side down and then I'll measure the angle with an angle finder on my phone and then uh, it's probably not gonna be perfect but it'll be close enough for a trailer. I'm gonna mark on here where I have to remove the paint so that way I don't end up grinding away too much and making more work for myself. Well, a burning powder coat was lovely this time of year. For setting the angles on these brackets, what I've been doing is calibrating the angle finder app to zero off the bar. I guess that one's going to be 41 degrees. Let's see if we can get these close to being the same. Alright, so they're both 41 degrees. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not gonna, not gonna try to adjust them down to 40. So I'm gonna put some more tack welds onto these now and get that all tacked in place and then move on to the next one. Grab two of the bolts that came with the kit. I'll start checking these. I did set them a while ago, but I've been playing with them, so they might not be.
right now all I'm going to measure from the front and back to that cross member. Make sure that cross member is square. And then I'm going to weld them two links in. And I'll probably put a couple tacks onto the cross member just to hold it in place. I'm eventually going to drill the side rails and put bolts in it too. But for right now, I just want to make sure everything stays in place. And once I get the bottom links on, then I'm going to cut the welds holding the axle in and check and see if this actually is going to work. goes. The top links are doing a very good job of keeping that stabilized. Can't move the axle side to side. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm going to remove the wheels one at a time, and there's a piece of angle iron under here that was for the um, um, leaf springs. They held the leaf springs in place. Um, now that I've proven this works, I don't need it anymore, I'm going to remove that and that'll allow the frame jack to drop down lower. So all I'm going to do is just take a grinder and there's four small welds on the front and I believe four on the back. So I'll just cut the welds on that. All right, so that right there is fully down with the axle sitting right on the frame. Obviously you can't drive down the road like that, but I guess the next step is to figure out how I'm gonna mount the bags and get that done. The uh, heim joints and all the accessories for them will be here this week. Also the airlines for the bags. It shouldn't take too much to get them mounted in there. I have some ideas already. I will just uh, have to move forward with that. 